Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of the BBC micro game Imogen. This is quite possibly my favourite game ever released for the BBC micro. Um, there was also a later release for the Electron as well um, on cassette, but this version for the BBC micro uh, is definitely the better of the two principally because it gives you the facility to skip from one level to the next and indeed save your progress. Now, Imogen, what's it all about? Well, you are the wizard, who you can see wandering around at the bottom of the screen here, and he effectively has the ability uh, to transform into either a monkey or a cat. And in either of those two forms, he is able to accomplish different things. So in this particular level, which if memory serves, is called Duck Egg Blues, the aim of the game is to actually enable Imogen to transform into a third animal, namely a bird of some description, not quite sure if it's meant to be a duck, and in so doing reach the end of level target, which is to acquire the diamond that will let him get to the next level. Now, as you can appreciate, in his form as a monkey, he is able to climb ropes, and this is a skill that is specific to the monkey only. However, to use objects, such as the egg here, which he has just picked up, he has to be in the wizard form. Now we'll throw the egg, and, well, not quite enough, so we're going to have to transform again into the monkey. Now you'll notice that there is a number in the top right hand corner of the screen which is currently reading 147. The game starts with 150 changes and after your 150th change you cannot change into anything any further so whatever form you happen to be in at that time that's it you're fixed. And that number of changes carries over from one level to the next. So it is incredibly important that you do not use your changes wantonly because if you do you'll find that you run out and cannot complete all the levels. Note by the way the bird flying around at the top of the screen we will be getting to him later. Now in the form of the cat which I have transformed into here the wizard is able to jump greater distances so what we're going to need to do here is jump up here with the large egg which we've now managed to use as a platform, and that gets us into the next area of the level. Well, it's a rope, so I'm going to need to be the monkey. Notice the number of changes is continuing to drop. Now, the aim here is to grab hold of that bird, because once I've grabbed hold of him, I will be able to uh, transform into that bird and enable me to get through to the level, uh, through the gap at the top of the screen. So, here comes the bird, and we've got him. And you'll see now that it is possible to transform into the bird. And what a wonderful little character he is. Look at the way he jumps along the screen there. It is one of the things to remark upon about this game, and amongst the gameplay, which is, I think, particularly special, is that the animations and the attention to detail in it are really quite magnificent. I mean, even just the little detail of him jumping along the screen there is it's quite, it's quite amusing. Um, it's a safe game though, you can't kill yourself, which is uh, obviously a relief. The only real threat is running out of the number of uh, tries available, uh, sorry, transforms available. Now we've got the diamond, which means that we can transform into the wizard, take the diamond, and transform away. And that grunting sound from our floppy drive indicates we have moved on to the next level. And we will explore this level in the next video.